Okay, and now let's talk about towing. I've been doing in this mentor game towing already a couple of times and I've been talking about it a bit, but let's go now in more in detail into it. So, as you know, tow is a ship mission that you can use to tow ships around. And the reasons why you should do that is if you want to tow your own ships is of course that you can build your own ships with bad engines uh, and tow them with another ship with good engines and this way you will save a lot of money and minerals because you are able to travel fast far away with not wasting that money to those engines but that's not the only reason the second reason, for example, is the thing that when you tow a ship through minefield, only the ship that is towing uh, is in danger of hitting a mine. So you can safely transfer other ships to minefields whilst towing. Also, if you tow your own ships uh, and you succe uh, successfully do that, uh, and it happens in the ID order and you have the lower ID ship, you are able to protect your own ship from enemy tow. Let's talk about that more in the future. But also you can protect your ships from cloaked intercept. If you are using a ship and you are, for example, towing a big battleship with a large deep space freighter and you set it to travel in a way that it will only use the amount of fuel it's going to need uh, for that one turn, it will arrive fuelless and so a cloaked intercept can't attack a fuelless ship. And then if the great big battleship has got more fuel, it can refuel the last deep space freighter and again you can continue. So it's a one way of uh, avoiding cloaked intercepts. So that's the kind of things that you can do for your own ships while being cloaked. Then of course you can try to tow enemy ships and especially if you are a cloaked race with cloaked ships you can stay waiting for a trap and when the enemy ships arrive to the trap you can tow some of those away somewhere for distraction or capture and so towing is actually a very important ship mission and it has got very detailed tactical uh, nuances <laughs> and what you need to know about towing and is that it happens, this is a good time to talk about host order. Uh, as you know, as we all do our turns, after that the host runs. And the host decides our actions, what's going to happen during the turn. So when we go to the how to play section and to the general part, general information part of the guides, of the how to play section of the site, there's the host order. And here you can see the order in which the host, host decides what's going to happen during the turn. So, the second item on the list is already lock tow B. And this means that those ships that have, have got the mission tow will try to lock their tow beam to a ship, to another ship. And this happens like most of these items in this host order, in the ID order of the ships. So if the ship has got ID 2, ID 3, ID 4, the ID 2 will first try to lock the tow beam. And after that, the ship ID3 and so forth. But so if the lock ID2 ship will 
successfully lock a tow beam and move somewhere else. Uh, the other ID ships at the same point trying to tow the same ships, either one the ship ID 2 or the target ship, they will fail and they are not able to tow. So this is one of the key things that when you have low ID ships that are able to tow, like a large D space freighter, you have build, built as your first, first build in this game. Uh, you are able to use it to tow an attack ship and evade those cloaked, cloaked traps where a cloaked, cloaked ship is waiting to tow your ships away. So you can try to protect your uh, ships from enemy tows with a low ID. But what if the enemy has locked its tow beam to your ships? Uh, are you completely helpless? No, you are not. There is a wonderful article in Planets magazine. It, I will add the link to the description text, text of this video. It's tow mission and tow conflict resolution. And there is the four finger rule. Four fingers. You need for a tow to be successful. You need fuel. The towing, towing ship must have at least some fuel for the ship mission to be successful. But the ship that is trying to get away from the uh, tractor beam of the tow needs to have at least 25 kilotons of fuel. The second thing that needs to happen in order to uh, either the tow to be successful or to escape the tow is that in order to tow you need at least two engines and in order to escape a tow you need at least two engines. So if you only have one engine on a ship you can't escape. Remember that if you have that ID2 large D space freighter that is towing a one engine ship, those both can run away if the opponents have higher ID ships that try to tow either one of them. But okay. And remember, when you are moving with the tow from a planet to another, you need to move because if you stay put, uh, the next ships in ID order are able to try their tow. So you can't uh, stay securely on a planet by towing a ship there and not moving away. Uh, the third finger is to have a long waypoint. So if you want to escape a tow, a tractor beam, you need to set the waypoint very far away, uh, at least over one turn away. And you have to have high speed. So basically, if you set with the two engine ship, the waypoint farther away than one turn and warp, move with warp nine, you are able to escape always a normal tow. There are of course then the things as the gravitonic ships, the special privateer ships with the gravitonic accelerator that move double speed and it's very hard to escape the tow of those ships. The best thing for that is to use the low ID ship and successfully move from one planet to another. And this is the way to try to combat the privateer enemy ships trying to tow your ships away. So these are the important things when towing. You can use the tow to save resources and money. You will still use as much fuel as you would use if you move to ships of, this, of that mass. Individually, if you are towing them, 
the towing ships will use the amount of fuel uh, that is the combined mass of the towing and tower and the towed ship but you don't need to have that many good engines to your ship so you save a lot of money and resources you can also try to evade mine hits and enemy attacks and also enemy tow by towing your own ships and you can try to tow enemy ships but for the tow to be successful this four fingers must apply and for a bonus the last thing there is one trick that you can use to stay on a planet without towing and breaking enemy tow and this is that if there are no these meteor class rocket runners or something like that gravitonic accelerator engine ships around uh, as you can see the host order there is this thing that if you intercept a hyper jumping ship that will jump to the same planet where you are then your move point is higher than one turn and if you use the warp 9 you are able then to break the enemy ship's toe and you will arrive to the same planet from where you were about to leave as the intercepting ship uh, the hyper jumping ship jumps first to the planet where you are and then you will intercept it after that and you are at the same point so this is the way you can use this special trick with hyper jumping ships to try to evade a toe to break a toe but okay this was towing thank you